What's up, everybody? This is Ron Placone reporting for Status Coup. So Tuesday on the show or yesterday on the show, whenever you're seeing this, uh, we talked about the Yemen resolution that Bernie Sanders was proposing. This was a resolution that would ultimately uh, bar the U.S. support in the war in Yemen. And by support, we mean that we just drop bombs in Yemen at the behest of Saudi Arabia. Well, got a not so great update, folks. Bernie Sanders reversed course and didn't call a vote on a resolution barring U.S. support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen. He'll keep talking to the White House. I don't know what these talks are going to consist of, folks. I'll be honest. I don't know what they're going to talk about. Well, we want to do a little bit of war. Well, I'm thinking we shouldn't be able to do any. Well, what about a little bit? Can we do Can we do like 30% war when we feel like it and get permission from nobody? No, I don't think that's the point of this resolution. Well, come on. It's the holidays. So here's what happened. Senator Bernie Sanders didn't follow through on a planned vote ending U.S. support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen, granting more time to continue talks with the White House on the resolution. Here's a quote from Bernie himself. I'm not going to ask for a vote tonight. I look forward to working with the administration who is opposed to this resolution and see if we can come up with something that is strong but is effective. And if we do not, I will be back. He added... Um, he added of the Biden White House, they wanted to work with us in crafting a language that would be mutually acceptable, and we're going to give them that opportunity. Whether we succeed or not, I don't know. Such a resolution would only need a majority of the chamber support to pass. So here's what I think is going on. Now, now the White House, as you uh, may recall, we talked about this on the show uh, yesterday or Tuesday, depending on when you see this video. The Biden administration's logic on why they're opposed to this resolution, because you can't be totally blunt and be like, well, we're opposed to this resolution because we just want to do indefinite war. We're the United States. We have an economy based on war because we're an empire. You don't necessarily want to come out and say that. So you have to have a little more of a flowery explanation. And so what they said was that they need, first of all, there's a ceasefire. So what are you worried about? There's a ceasefire. And, and they also said that we need to be able to just use this force just in case that's the only way peace will come about. In other words, war is peace. Uh, I think Orwell warned us about that one. So that was their logic. So I don't know what's going to happen with these talks, if anything. I don't have confidence anything will happen. But at the end of the day, here's what this comes down to. In 2019, Trump vetoed this resolution. They didn't want Biden to look like Trump because Biden would have vetoed it, too. They didn't want the quote unquote most progressive president since FDR to do such a thing. But Biden's not the most progressive president since FDR. Biden's not remotely progressive. Biden gave us 40 years of clues of who he was and how he was going to govern. And folks, I got some tour dates coming up. January 7th, I will be in San Diego, California. Uh, January 28th, I'll be in Tucson, Arizona. That's a stand-up show and the premiere screening of my short film, Loner. You can get tickets at romplacone.com and use the promo code Lucy at checkout for discounted tickets. That's a holiday special, so grab them now. February 10th, April 14th, and May 12th, I'll be doing a string of shows in Los Angeles at the Glendale Room. Tickets and all information can be found at romplacone.com. And this is Ron Placone for Status Quo, signing out.